Now, I already told you people, first one's free. Then what I say? I said I will shut that shit down. No exceptions. Now, I don't know what kind of lying assholes you've been dealing with. But I'm a man of my word. First impressions are important. I need you to know me. So. Back to it. <laughs> oh my god yep uh so i'm back well this book is back how white folks got so rich 22 um um i had to i had to um Stop posting for a while. Um, I had got a um, a notification from or an email from YouTube letting me know that um, I had violated uh, community guidelines, and um, I had to. Uh, I I thought that I had to um, either like do the video over again or. Um, reworded different because I don't I couldn't think of anything that I had said in that video um or you know I didn't I didn't know what it was so uh I, I'm redoing this video you know because I wanted to put this um in the uh I wanted to put this uh what do they call it um, I forget what they call it but uh, I, w I just want to let you guys know disclaimer. Uh, I just want to put the disclaimer in here. You know, let you guys know what was going on. Um, like Umar Johnson, you know, we as black people, we have to be unapologetically African. Uh, those of us who claim, you know, an African nationality, you know, we have to be, at, you know, unapologetically African. You know, uh, part of part of being African. It's uh, not being afraid to tell the truth and telling the truth as we see fit. Um, but if I've said anything to hurt anybody's feelings, uh, I do not apologize. I just ask that you um, that you tuck away your feelings and just listen to the to the things that's being said here in um uh, in these videos so getting right to it we're talking about the national recovery act this is the nra or the negro removal act so uh yeah no group was harder hit by the Great Depression of the 1930s than black folks. By 1932, about half were out of work. In some northern cities, whites called for blacks to be fired from any job uh, as long as there were whites, as long as there were whites out of work. Let me read let me read that again. In some northern cities, whites called for blacks to be fired from any job as long as there were whites out of work. This was in the north. So that um that whole concept of um uh north versus south and it's because the north wanted the blacks to be free. You didn't want us to be free because um because you 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 had some kind of moral epiphany. Slavery had been going on in this country for 200 years. 1864, 63, 16, no, for about a hundred and something years. Slavery was going on for a hundred and something years, and 
you wait till the 1800s to say that blacks should be free? Man, shit is you smoking. Um, lynchings of blacks surged from 8 in 1932 to 28. Um, from 8. Lynchings of blacks surged from 8 in 1932 to 28 the next year. 1933. As economic pressure inflamed an already hostile uh, white population. Uh, right quick, I want to look up um, the Jesse Will Jesse is his name is Jesse Williams Jesse Washington, you know, and uh, this this boy was uh, hanged, I believe, in 1919. Okay, it's, it's 1916, but. I, be, I really believe the people who wrote this book were were actually going light on you Caucasians. Where they say um, an economic pressure inflamed an already hostile white population. You know, the whole uh, 8 to 28 lynchings or whatever. I personally believe, I egotistically believe, I merc- mercilessly believe that this was something that happened on a regular I believe that that there were some years where there were a hundred lynchings because this was normal for white people people may you know go to statistics and look at those lynches that were recorded. I believe that many lynchings were not recorded. I believe thousands of lynchings were not recorded. And then white people want to talk about the uh, white people want to talk about how uh, there were white people who got lynched. You know, what about them? Well, that number is very very small compared to the number of black people who were lynched so I don't want to hear about those white people who got lynched matter of fact some of those white people who got lynched those were some good white people who probably had kids that saw their uh, parents get lynched and had a thought in, in their mind and said you know what my mom got hanged my dad got hanged for helping black people. I don't want to get hanged for, for helping black people. So let me avoid helping black people. Just like there were kids standing around watching black people get lynched and smiling all in the picture and smiling at the black person that's hanging from a tree. Um, those kids had kids and those kids had kids and all of those kids who grew up and became parents to the kids that they had told them these stories shared these stories with them it's a beautiful thing to see a nigga hang from a tree look at these pictures i got i got a nigga finger right right here you like that johnny yeah some shit like that um the nra negro removal act was enacted in 1933 to address the effects of the of the depression on white Americans. It set wages at $12 a week, but most jobs blacks held were not covered by the law. So employers reduced blacks' wages in order to raise the pay for of white workers to meet the NRA wage requirement. Find something that's that that says that this is a lie and we can talk about it I will digress from reading the rest of this book if you can find something that says that this is a lie this book is called How White Folks Got So Rich all of this shit is backed up by evidence and proof okay real talk real talk man um 
where are we? Um, let's see. Blacks covered by the higher higher wage laws were often fired and replaced with whites. Some call the NRA the Negro Removal Act, and you see why they call it the uh, that on paper. It's called the National Recovery Act. Like, let's get ourselves back in business. Right? Also, let's put some more of these, these black niggas on the street. Okay? So if you see any black bombs, black people that you would call bombs in the street, some of those bombs may, may come from a long generation of bombs. Starting in the 1930s. It's a possibility. It's a possibility. White people uh, are born in the money. How do you know bums are born in the poverty? And and even and even if that even if that is the case, you know, uh, 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 bums being born in the poverty. You can look at it as um, you can look at it as poor people. You don't have to go as far as bums. You let poor people. This is what goes on now. And you say that black people don't like to work. Where are their jobs? Where, where are their jobs? And you may even say these black people here on the job, they don't like to work. I work with a group of with a group of guys and a few of them don't like to work. Managers included. How did the manager get a manager position if he doesn't like to work? You see what I'm saying? So you can sit there and talk about, um, you can sit there and talk about how how niggas are lazy. I done seen some white managers, lazy as hell, lazy as hell, and they moving up in the ranks. Privilege. <laughs> I heard I heard somebody say it in my spirit. I heard somebody say privilege. I already know it. I already know it. There's 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 friends. Matter of fact, if you work at an all black employee uh, uh, business, if you are employed where there are nothing but black employees, take a notice. When your white manager has his bosses come in, look at how they walk around the store. Okay, even even the black managers watch the black managers. Look at how they look like toms and coons when the when when the big when the big man comes in. How scared and shook in their boots they get when the big man comes in. Not just the big man, him and all his all his white golfing buddies. But you want to call you want to call black people lazy for fucking what? It's it's a difference between being lazy and not wanting to do something. Okay, lazy is you know. Moving real slow and sleeping on, sleeping on stock, you know, sleeping at the cash register. That's lazy. Okay. Because, you know, you, when you, when you're sleeping, you get lazy, right? Not wanting to work is not lazy. Not wanting to work is finding a nigga in the bathroom doing stuff <laughs> lazy lazy is finding some niggas in the back smoking on the clock that's that's not lazy that's just not wanting to work but you know that's y'all that's 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 how y'all perceive shit because y'all lazy you perceive black people as lazy well not all white people Okay, not all white people are lazy. But you see mm -hmm, where uh, on the plantation 
if 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 white people weren't so lazy, why weren't they out there picking cotton with us? Find me, man. You know what? Find me a picture of of show. Uh, send me, send me a find the picture first. Send it to my email. I'm gonna leave my email in the description box. Send me a picture of white people picking cotton. And we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. Okay. But moving on. Um, according to Georgia peanut farmer and U.S. President Jimmy Carter, by law, the average black family got only $8 a week because the presumption was they could live more cheaply. Huh? And and now check this out. Check this out now. They say all black people do is um have sex um you know have babies you know, and we lazy, and, and, and you know, you 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 know the stereotypes. You know what you call us. You know what you say about us. But at the same time, you talking about us like that. You also know that our mothers are able to take a little bit of money and feed everybody in the house. We don't live check to check by choice. We don't live live check to check by choice. We live check to check because of the way the economy is structured. Now, if you if you could print money, I, and and I and, and I'm saying this because I don't know if if you know, please put it down in the comments. The peep the the rulers of this world print the money what is that money back to back by what is that money back by what makes that money valuable because if you can print all this fucking money why don't you just up the minimum wage why do you have to bring why do you have to bring more businesses okay just by well this may not be common sense to you, but it's common sense to me. Um, if you're going to bring more businesses, that means you need to hire more people. Where, where is that money coming from? For you to hire the the uh, the construction workers, for you to hire the um, you know everybody that's involved. Okay, everybody that's involved from the building of it to the um, the maintenance of it, you know, and, and, and all that. People have to get paid for that. Where is that money coming from? Is that money coming from the the new owner? Because if this is the case, why do you need to create jobs in order for, you know, why not create some kind of organization where these billionaires can just throw their money in this pool? Okay? And that money that's thrown into that pool gets distributed amongst the, the already established businesses. For me to just be some random nigga from the South to think of, of, of something as great as that I know somebody had that thought as well. And for 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 that, and not just that thought, things that tie along tie tie in along with it. Y'all just don't wanna, you know, I believe that that money is an illusion. And whatever money is being backed by is the is the real treasure. That's the real that's the real deal and that is what they have their claws and mitts and in and, and, uh talons 
grip to. Okay? But if we as black people can make a miracle out of the little money that we have, um, that that doesn't give you a reason to um, to keep us poor, to keep us to keep us to keep us living in the conditions that we live in. Black people do not live in these conditions by choice. Not one black person lives in these conditions by choice. Even if they do, even if you find a black person who says that I live in this condition because I want to live in this condition, they're living in that condition because you, not brainwashed, you manipulated their mind to make them choose to live in a situation like this. Oh my God! Okay? You did that. And we have shown through this book series, through this book series, we have shown and we have proven that white people have taken and manipulated the minds of black people here in America. Are you still there? I don't know. It seems like you're trying to speak, but you just took a hell of a hit. I just popped your skull so hard, your eyeball just popped out. And it is gross as shit. Man, God, I'll find you. Oh, hell. I can see this is hard on you guys. I am sorry. I truly am. But I did say it. No exceptions!